Hey y'all, this is Neil checking in, and I've decided recently to upgrade my computer as I was looking at future games and my render to speeds with my FX 6300 AMD processor and being like, man, I, I think I need to prepare for the future, especially if I want to be a better content creator. So anyways, today I'm going to actually be showing you guys the build process, so I really hope you enjoy it. I'm going to go through the all the hardware and then go through the build process and then look at the difference between my old computer and this one now. Um, just as a little disclaimer, I'm not affiliated or sponsored by any manufacturer of any of this hardware um, or anything therein, accidental product placements, anything like that. So hopefully you guys enjoy and here's all the hardware. My build will feature the FTZ-01 case from Silverstone for its ITX slimness, its ability to hold three case fans to aid in overclocking, and just because it looks so dang awesome. For hardware, I'll be using the i5-6600K Intel processor on an MSI Z170 motherboard. For their ability to overclock and the relatively good price, I paid for both. Also, I'll very much enjoy the features of this motherboard. Cooling the i5 will be the C7 Cryrig CPU heatsink, which has already proved capable for overclocking purposes. I will be transferring over my EVGA GTX 970 Superclocked graphics card from my old rig, which is still a very capable card. I will also have 16GB of DDR4 RAM by G-Skill, which can be overclocked at 3000MHz. Then in terms of storage, I'll be using a 250GB solid state drive from PNY, a 480GB solid state drive from Transcend, and a 1TB green edition hard drive from Western Digital. And for the power supply, I stuck with the 700 watt SFX power supply from Silverstone, where at first I purchased a 500 watt, but wanted to be at greater ease overclocking, so return that for the 700 watt. So let's get to this.
Wow, that was quite a build. Um, let, let's get to the fine details of what happened here. It took me actually about five and a half hours. It was crazy. But after I got built in about two hours, I did an initial boot to see if things would work. The CPU light on the motherboard remained on. That's a problem. I was so nervous about any pin, anything like that in the motherboard being just a skew, just so, ever so slightly, and I would have to find it. Uh, so anyways, just had problems galore after this point. We had our USB adapter for a wireless mouse be stuck in the USB port of the motherboard, and we had to actually get a screwdriver and try to fish it out. We weren't able to get it out until after the build was completed. Um, we had to remove the whole motherboard and everything else, and um, go down to the CPU and reinstall it and re-put on thermal paste. So yes, I did thermal paste a lot better the second go around. Um, and then we did initial post to see if that worked. Gratefully it did, so we put everything back in there. And while I was putting everything back in there, I was trying to plug in the USB 3 connection for the front I.O. and accidentally bit one of the pins. And so I was trying to put back into a straight format and it broke off. Instead of spending a lot of time, and I don't know how to solder those things, um, I just plugged it in. It works for the most part. The top one doesn't, but it kind of does. Overall, the build was a success and I had a lot of fun doing it. Now with the PC built, I wanted to make sure that what I invested in actually yielded any results. So I ran this new computer through a series of tench, uh, tench benches, <laughs> test benches um, to be able to compare it with my old computer. And one thing I was able to do as well is to also overclock my CPU to 4.6 gigahertz. So I'll be able to show these three results of my old computer, this one at stock, and this one with my CPU at 4.6 gigahertz. And just as a special note, this is only comparing the old computer to this one now. And so anyways, hopefully you guys enjoy the benchmarks, and here they are. So in review, this computer is clearly dominant compared to the previous one, and overclocking at 4.6 GHz even makes it even better. I couldn't be more pleased with this computer, and I'm excited about the potential that it has. And then not in terms of hardware, but other aspects I do like about it, it's quieter, and it's a lot more compact. I can put it wherever I really want to, and that makes me excited. So anyways, hopefully you guys have enjoyed, if you have, feel free to give this episode a thumbs up. If you haven't, you can always dislike it. Whatever, that's up to you. And if you're new to my channel and you'd like to, feel free to subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching, and this is Neil checking out.